How's my YouTube live streaming camera coming along? It's awesome, 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 awesome! Despite the touch panel hiccups that I had in my last video, so far the rest hasn't been that bad. Hardware wise, there's just a few steps left and then we can put a nice shiny 3D printed case on it and call it a day. So the goal of this video is to install a microphone, get it to stream audio, add a power off script and a battery pack. If you ever catch me going too fast, you need me to slow down. You can visit the project page over at hackster.io. Also, those beautifully smelling folks over at hackster.io have been gracious enough to sponsor this video. And to that I say, may you be blessed with a world where the poo doth not stink and the flea doth not bite. Huzzah! Adding a microphone to the Raspberry Pi is pretty simple. I picked up this mini USB microphone and just plugged it in. But getting the audio to stream in sync with the video, well, that's a whole nother issue. I was thinking that the script that we created in the last video would work. In fact, I said that hopefully all I have to do is plug in a USB microphone and everything will start streaming together. But knowing my luck, it's probably gonna break the whole project. And my luck came through. I failed miserably. The first problem was that I didn't have the ALSA codec installed. And you can easily install it by typing this. The downside is that then you have to go through and recompile FFmpeg, which can take an hour or two, unfortunately. Then it's just a matter of going back to our script and configuring the FFmpeg command. There's a lot of different switches and options and figuring out the right combination can sometimes be chalked up to trial and error. Now save it, but before testing it out, let's go into the raspy config and disable the boot to GUI option so that we can save on CPU and memory usage. Testing it out, I was able to stream audio and video at 720p with a whopping 20 second lag. Howdy Tinker Nerds and welcome to my live stream. I know, I know, that's pretty significant. But I've posted the code up on GitHub, so if you have any ways of jimmying together an FFmpeg command that can create less lag, please feel free to let me know. But other than that, it tested out pretty well. The last feature this project needs is a way to turn it off and turn it back on. But as I've mentioned in previous videos, in order to not potentially corrupt the Raspberry Pi software, you have to shut down the operating system before powering off the Raspberry Pi. So in our code, we should be able to create a little touchscreen button that calls a shutdown function to power off the operating system. Saving it, running it, and testing it, it seems to work out pretty well. Now on the script side, all that's left to do is make the Python script executable and then add the path to your rc.local file so that it looks like this with the and sign at the end. Now whenever you reboot your Pi, the Python script should automatically come up. Okay, that step was actually pretty easy. Final step before we can gussy it all up is to add a battery pack to make it portable. Similar to what I did in my streaming radio project, I'm going to be using a battery powered cell phone booster. I went the route of carefully taking it out of its case and even more carefully soldering a switch to it. But sometimes I'm a dangerous and stupid kind of guy and dealing with the dangers of lithium polymer batteries is not really something that I'd recommend to anyone. So an alternative would be to purchase a USB on off switch similar to this one that you can buy on amazon.com and then add that between the battery power pack and your Raspberry Pi. Putting it all together, it should look something like this. Horrific, I know. But that's why it needs a beautiful case to hide the ugliness. I'll release the final video of the finished product in a couple weeks. In the meantime, you can check out the project page to get more details and stay up to date on the project. What ideas would you like me to cover next? Submit or vote for your favorites at tinkernut.com slash ideas. Click here to watch more videos like this, and if you got any value out of my show and would like to give some value back, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, or donate at tinkernut.com slash donate. All right, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.